Okay, so we just got done playing Grixis Breach, and it had some issues, so I wanted to try this one out again, because every time I've played it, it's felt very good. Uh, so maybe maybe something happens here where it doesn't feel as good. Who knows? Oh, look, I have three Return to Nature. We were talking about that. What did I... Hmm. Hmm. So anyway, the things that this deck does better than Grixis, in my opinion, uh, it's Tamio. Tamio does everything. Uh, she picks up our stuff. She finds our stuff. She prevents our opponent from looking at our hand. She prevents our opponent from making a sacrifice things. And yeah, it's just all around good. Fibblethip is a good filler card, just cantrips. We don't get Wishclaw Talisman, but I don't think this deck needs it that much. So... We're gonna try this one out again. I'm going to uh, update Stream Decker because apparently, okay. All right. We're in it again. <laughs> this is only the third time I've streamed this deck. Hey, look, we're playing someone different this time. All right, let my let my eyes get used to uh, this deck again. Um, this hand's close. I'm gonna keep it. On the back of scrying off of this and then opting on turn two. Okay, so white aggro, you say. Okay, that's a good draw because it guarantees we get Uro on turn three. Uh, so in that case, I'm just going to bottom this land. Say go. Oh, vampires. Got it. White, black, vampires. That little guy is annoying, for sure. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, let's opt. We wanna keep that because we do eventually want two Moxen anyway. Next turn, we go land, mox amber, play euro, float blue, play witching well. And I have a pretty good uh, start here, and we're just kind of ignoring them, which is a problem, but... Or witching well. Alright, I'm just gonna witching well. What am I looking for here? Um An Emery would be good. Not dead to a sorn, but dead to another Lord Sanctum Seeker. Yeah. It's not looking good for our hero. Oh, Sanctum Seeker. I could be so lucky to die that card. <laughs> Please don't play it. That could be... Okay. I was gonna say that could be a Sanctum Seeker, but it's not. All right, um, woof. I guess you'll do. I guess you'll do. 
Woof. That just doesn't do anything, huh? Alright. Alright, nifty. I kept a medium hand and uh, didn't draw well. And they drew like vampires, which is to say fantastically. So we want these seven cards. We don't want opt anymore. And maybe we can keep that. We can cut that. Oh, and then we cut Fibble Fib. All right. So what Jeff was doing on stream was he was keeping four opt and only two witching well, but we want witching well because it works great with Emery. So that, that's why we do that. Tamio, while fantastic, is a little slow. So we want to cut her down to three and yeah. I, I'm excited to just die to aggro all of these matches, I guess. All right, we get to play first. Um, this hand doesn't do anything. This hand has lava coils in it, so I'm going to keep. I think I'm just going to bottom this breach. Hope they don't have uh, the Ad Adanto Vanguard. And kill all their stuff until I can uh, win, hopefully. All right, perfect. Look, we're playing cards. We're playing cards that do things. Ooh, yeah, we are. Oh, we gotta escape five. Duress. Ah, ooh, that, that makes Euro live. We could just cast this. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Like they literally put the last card I needed in, in, in my uh, graveyard there, so sure. Here's my four mana six six that gave me three and drew a card. How you doing? Oh, it's gained me six, draw two cards, sorry. Um go. Okay, cool. So we get to lava coil that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, our backup plan was great. Oh, it already feels way better, right? Like, come on. <laughs> Just like, uh... D Duress is great against us. <laughs> Duress is fantastic against the Tamiyo deck, too, right? For multiple reasons. All right, uh, we have excavators and emeries and lava coils. I'm keeping. Right eyes, no fear. I'm very afraid. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to lead on this friend. Yeah, I'll take more lava coils. 
Owie. Uh, shock this in. Play my 1-3, say go. 1-3, pretty good against two ones. Less good against three twos, though, so please don't play a lord. Okay. Okay. They don't seem to have a lot of pressure, so I'm just gonna kill this, play this tapped, and say go. I got a lot of Emery's going on. I don't know that they have... Yeah, Soren, obviously. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think they have anything that doesn't die to this, so... feel pretty good about my Lava Coils. I start looking for Mox Amber. That one. Feels pretty academic from here now. I think you will find my oh, we hit we hit a mox amber. We have one Diligent Excavator and two Emery's. Do I go for it? Or do I just wait until next turn when I can look for a second Excavator? I'm just going to wait. That doesn't do anything, friend. Taste it. Yeah, exactly. Welcome. Wow. They just have nothing, huh? Alright. Good job, good job. We beat the aggro deck. Oh, gosh. Already doing better than, <laughs> than the last run. That that was always my problem with vampires. It's just like against decks that have the answer for one, two, three, you just end up with an empty hand and you're very sad. Like all your stuff dies to lava coil, and now it all dies to storm storm's wrath or whatever it is. The the four damage sweeper, not not great, not great, friend. Like, we saw game one what happens when you get your nut draw, but that's not every game. Yep. All right. Let's play first. Uh, we have a Witching Well into an Embry, so... Sneaper Keeper. Yeah, and, and game two showed us what Euro can do in this deck, where we just escaped it in, in one in uh, game two, so. Bless up. Fly my teamer flag by playing the Sulphur Falls instead of the Centerland Harbor. It's been a breach. Okay. Oh, our Tamiya went down. Okay. Gosh, this is another game where we can just, like, cast Euro next turn if we draw a land. <laughs> uh, not that land, though.
<laughs> Just like we can cast this fairly. Fairly. Sure. Straw land. Rats. And no Moxton in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Gosh, no Moxton at all. No Moxton and all of our lands. <laughs> and two of our Tamios. Ritual of Sit. Sad. Um... Uh, for one mana, not really anything I want to do, so just going to play this again. There goes a Mox. Okay, we're almost there. Sure. Red, black, kill my stuff. Man, all my lands are just in my graveyard. If I drew one land to my hand... This game would be over. Ah, Grixis, that explains everything. <laughs> Read them and weep, son. Read them and weep. Halfway through our deck, all of our lands are in here. Alright. Alright. So if we draw a land next turn, uh, they die. This doesn't bode well. This smells like Ritual of Soot. Or three, or Chandra deal three to everything. Search race Kanta. Okay, Ritual of Soot. There it is. There it is. Land? My goodness gracious. Thank you. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was a land. <laughs> Are they dead? All right, all right, so hold on, I need to think. I have, I have one Moxon in here. The shuffler is probably confused, right? One, so I have one Moxon. So if I played this, Moxon, Emery, shut up. If I play this, Moxon, Emery costs one. I have two mana left over. Uh, I think I'm just supposed to escape this then. Which, it just dies to to Nicol Bolas, but that at least distracts them momentarily. Okay. Perfect. So if they, wow, okay. Get rid of Fibble Fib. Okay, the ritual is it. Don't thought erase for me, bro. Now I think we have enough mana. Because, okay, again, two mana, I get back uh, Mox Amber first, which is free. So two mana, Mox Amber first, puts me up to four mana. Then I use one on Emery, two on Excavator, then one on Witching Well. And hopefully that gets us to a point where we have two Mox in, in our graveyard and we just win. They have a negate. 
drown in the lock. Lol. Uh... So now I have to start hitting lands with this stupid thing. Oh, maybe that was the wrong land to hit. I don't know. Stop flickering. Why are you flickering? Oh, you're kidding me. No, you don't have anything. Stop it. Now, now all we get are lands, huh? Bottom half of our deck is all lands. Granted, if they exile this from our hand, we kind of just lose. Rask is content. That's fine. Kind of. It means we have to win this turn. So we need to draw a breach. Do we have a breach to draw? There's three of them, and then there's one in here, so we just lose. Ah! So many turns they gave us where we could have just flippin' did the thing. Um, okay, so we want Mystical Dispute. Ah! <sighs> Do we just want this to stop flickering? It's very unsettling. Do we want this? I guess bring this in over this. Definitely want all of those. Cut an opt. Something like that. We don't care enough about our life total to bring in Lava Coil for Creature Bolas. Yeah, uh, yeah. They're, if their Creature Bolas kills us, it's because we let it. So I'm not really worried about that. Man, uh, we had some rough mills, huh? We, we milled over all our lands, drew all of our stuff that we couldn't cast. Like, if we had gotten Tameo down... It would have at least slowed them down because they, they discarded us a couple times. All right. We're in. Oh. Let me. We're in. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh. That might be greedy. Duress. Okay. They have to take Tamio, right? Because, like, if they take anything else, I just play Tamio and get it back. Yep. Destiny Spinner. My thoughts, they are being erased. Sure, take Mox Amber. See if I care. Uh...
I bought him with the land, didn't I? No? I kept Destiny Spinner on top. That's what it was. Medium Beats by Dre. Hey, a land. Neat. Um, I think I'm just going to play this tapped, attack them for three. And then end of their turn, I'm going to draw a couple cards. I don't really want to put this on the board because the way they get back in this game is with a sweeper. Command the Dread Horde. Oh my god. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> okay, uh, they can counter Moxon, I guess, yeah, sure, this is fine, oh, is it, I'm being dumb. I was dumb. How did I... One, two, and then the box, and then two. Why did I think I had two more mana than I have? All right, let's just escape Euro then. One, two... One, two, three... Four... Five. All right. This into play. We get to scry land to the bottom. Hit them down to four. They're gonna go land sweeper because they think they're so cool. And then we just win next turn. Alright. Seriously though, do we win? I cast this, so. Then I have two for an excavator, two for an excavator. And then I have two left over, but I have a mox in. Then do I have enough? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shut up. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is three spells. And then I mill two, but that isn't enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this then. They have to answer this every turn. Braska's Contempt, sure. You know what? I'm just going to try. Oop. I probably just made my chances worse, actually. Yeah, I only have seven, so I'm going to bring two spells back. If I bring this back and then this back, that should be enough, though. Mm. One, two, three. No. I hecked up. 
if I bring Emery back first, one, two, three, then I mill four. Uh, one, two, One, two, three. Yeah, I'm just going to pass now. Let that go to my graveyard. Leave up mystical dispute, I guess. So we play this, we diligent excavator, one, two, three, submit three, tap Emery, play this without escaping, mill ourselves. Tap it for mana. I guess mana doesn't really matter here. One, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three. Submit three. Play this. That doesn't do much. Didn't think this went through, huh? Now we're out of those. We have two there. One there. Yikes. Sure. Oh, boy. Oh, that was our last one. So we really need to draw a Tamiyo, huh? Would really like a Tamiyo, pretty badly. De definitely, definitely want a Tamiyo. I think we've only seen one this game. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Err, I misplayed this game pretty badly, I think. I escaped Euro one too many times. Uh, yep. 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 So, we're looking for a Tammy two of in 14 cards, though. One in seven chance here. Draw two cards, you say. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what does this do? Does it really exile the bottom card? Or uh, Nikki B. All the nickel ball aside. I have so many lands. My schemes are never ending. Sure. We only have 14 cards left. Come on. They have a negate, though. 
or drown in the lock or whatever. Oh my god. So four cards we know aren't, so nine. So two out of nine cards are in fact a Tamiyo. I dare you to activate this castle opponent. Dare you. I dare you to activate your castle. Sure. so embarrassing. I don't even know anymore. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh... Well, take the take the deck out back and burn it. It lost to Grixis. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Oracle, Oracle was still in the deck. Do you see how this cat is sleeping? Oh, I woke him. I tried not to wake him, but when you literally move his bed, he's going to notice. You ready to see kitten mode? Oh, oh. <laughs> he wakes up so fast. Oh, now he's so sleepy. Oh. Oh, we only have one land. Is this a one land hand that you would keep? We're on the draw, too. Who would keep this hand? Because, like, we're on the draw, so we get one look at it that way. And then we have these two cards, which get us extra looks. I'm keeping this. Call it greed. I'm keeping it. Did we just play Phase Inducer? professional y'all were worried we we just played this person oh my god more people need to hear the good word about historic so i can play different people in leagues Redemption time versus Grixis. That's not how this usually goes for me. Sure, he's dead. Uh, let's do this. All right. All right. We're one Moxon and a thing away. Oh, sure. Um... Cool. I wanted them to do that. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I could have played Tamio this turn. I could have played Tamio this turn. I forgot about that. Well, I guess I'm opting now. Kind of just want to land. Breach works.
So for those of you wondering why I didn't put Ritual of Soot with Thought Erasure, they would have just taken that and I would have hated everything about it. So no point. Nickel Bolas. Got these Fibble Tips I don't care about. Oh, baby, you. You've got what I need. Right? One, two, one, two. Got a breach. Wait. Hold on. Does that mean we win? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did we just oops, I win? Right? Because I play this. I get the second mox. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, good. Literally have to use every inch of this one, but we got there. All right. Oh, and I can do this one for free even? Look at that. Look at that. <sighs> All right. GG's opponent. I hope you had fun. We have our two mana, so that doesn't matter anymore. This nonsense back and forth, and we win. <laughs> I love how, like, before this turn started, I was like, uh, oh, we're gonna Tamio, and then they're gonna kill it, and we're gonna have to wait until next turn to win the game, and then, like, I just drew the perfect perfects. Go get a burrito, uh, go refill your water, stretch, go to the bathroom. You know, whatever you need to do, opponent. I'm going to be here for a little bit. All right. Ask me to pet the cat in the middle of a combo. Let's not mess this up. <laughs> All right. Cards left six. Worth it. <laughs> All right, they're dead. Just gotta find my Thassa's Oracle somewhere in here. Pew! Got him! All right, good show, good show. Uh, so we want Mystical Dispute. Disgusting and awesome, right? We want Mystical Dispute, and they showed us counters the first time we played against them. I'm only going to bring in two, though. It's kind of a medium card in general. Cut two of these, cut two of these. Uh, 
it's my favorite combo in this or favorite deck in this uh format i think i think i think rural aggro is the best deck in the format and i enjoy playing it but i think this is the most fun for sure as cats are wont to do they, they love sleeping next to humans like like this guy this little pot just went Burp. All right. Cruel spells. People keep telling me deck names that I've done, and I'm just like, I did that? <laughs> that sounds vaguely familiar. Cruel aggro, blue red spells. Let's see, let's see. Where is it? Memekin? Cruel aggro. I think I remember what you're talking about. Green red spells. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, is this another sneaker keeper? I think it is. We weren't punished last time, so what's the worst that can happen? God. You can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> oh no. Wow, they shocked in for no reason. That's weird. Nice deck. All right, what do we want to put in our graveyard? Now they can counter this. Sure. It's fine. Oh, are they stuck on two lands? Oh, that's nice. I kept a one lander and have six lands between play and my hand, and they have two lands in play. It feels good. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Rats, I was really hoping to draw Mox Amber there. Oh, they drew the third land. Rats. Would you like to negate this? You would not. Okay. Oh, I got land draws, right? Alright, so it doesn't matter that this is milling the amber as long as... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. As long as the amber is somewhere where we can access it eventually, it's fine. I mean, they're at 10, and we have 4 power in play. Sure. We devil that with Emery in play. Got it? Don't play land. Don't play land. Rats. Okay, they didn't play land. Do I just, like, activate this, hit them for four, and just keep doing that? Nah. Let's try and combo already. One, two, three, four. So we're one short of killing them next turn with Destiny Spinner? Although, if I draw um, Underworld Breach, they're dead, which is funny. Okay, Ritual is safe. That'll help them out.
Yeah, second Destiny Spinner or Underworld Breach would have been lethal. Alright. Uh, one, two... Three... Four, five... Seems dece. Okay. Um, I only have one amber though. Doing better with teamer indeed, yes. I have infinite mana. I'm just gonna go for it. YOLO, etc. Uh just got back feeling better now. That's good. Yeah, exactly. We'll we'll get Emery out in a second here. Say another amber. Come on. Another amber. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this nonsense? Um... This one. Ah, there we go. Okay. I was worried. Spit three. Then we... Diligent excavator. Uh, one, two, three. I'm going to shock this in because it lets us, oh uh, yeah, it lets us leave up Mystical Dispute here, which is funny. All right, so they're dead now. Good talk, good talk. Well, we got our revenge. And <laughs> you doubted the redemption, right? How dare I? How, how dare I? <laughs> okay. All right, that should be more than enough mana. And this should be the last time we do this. Then, right? Yeah, we have one card. So we fast as Oracle. Do that. All right. Good talk. You love to see it. You love it when the good guys win, right? We're definitely the good guys of the format. Hello? Thank you. Um Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to restart here. Cuz it's being a bit more 
<laughs> more updates to download apparently so that's interesting uh restarting your client midstream what does it result in updates all right here, here here's the view we're gonna go with just look at that boy look at that good good boy This one's free, chat. All right. And now will OBS recognize that I started? Nope. No, it won't. Oh, God. Everything is great. Everything is fantastic. What an amazing cat. Between Arena and OBS, just like all the best technologies. All right. So we've already improved on the Grixis deck because the Grixis deck went one and two and we are currently two and one. So got that going for us. And now we're playing against a different opponent. It could, could be much worse, yes. Uh, yeah, this is keep. Temple of Abandon. I didn't even pay gold for this. That's the fun part. Are you an aggro deck playing Temple of Abandon? You are, aren't you? Shame this opponent. Shame. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Play my 1-3. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this because there's a chance they kill... Diligent Excavator next turn, and I just want to, like, get some amount of value out of it, so. Cool. Oh, I could have blocked that. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat, and I was like, surely they won't attack with their 2-2. Oops. Uh, yeah, uh, so we'll use this, play this, yes, I'm sure, mill, mill myself, keep this one, play Euro, mill myself, draw a card, gain some life, put a tap land into play, uh, no attacks, Assess my graveyard. We have one Amber. We already have a Legendary in play. we Do I just take six here? And just... All right. I could just Euro, honestly. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're fit enough to survive. We're fit enough to survive, you say. Um So 
So if I Underworld Breach, I go one, two, three, put this into play, I mill two, I mill two, I can hit this that way. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. Fibble Thip actually kind of helps because there's another thing that mills without. Without uh, using my graveyard. Look, we're all in on the combo. Crack play is probably escape Euro again. This one. I would like to mill me. I uh, don't want either of those. Yes, I would like to play this. I would like to mill me. Oh, Andy goes to the graveyard. Just neat. True land. Uh, gosh, this is close. Um, okay, so if I escape something, we have one, two, three, one, two, yeah. I think it's Fibblethip again. Oh, we have lands too. Okay, one, two, three, perfect. I forgot it doesn't show lands. Emery, fantastic. Uh, that's also good. Okay. So one, two, three. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's fine. We're good, we're good. Got there. One, two, and I don't need all the ambers. I just need two of them. This mills over six. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You love to see it. One, two, three, submit three. I think I have to do Emery one more time. Hold on. If I if I tap this for mana and I cast this, I have Fibble Thip, Underworld Breach, and an Emery. And that mills me two. And then I can cast this Diligent Excavator from my hand. And then I should be good. Okay. Oh, we have lands in here. Again. I keep forgetting about the lands. All right. This was never close. All right. Got there. Nice aggro deck. And the funny thing is we get even better uh, sideboard. Because we get to bring in our Wraths and we get to bring in our um, Lava Coils. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I, keep, I keep focusing on the wrong thing, but it's fine. We got there, we figured it out. We worked our way through the problem. All right. And that's how we sideboard against aggro. Bring in Storm's Wrath and Lava Coil. Cut a couple ops, a Tamiyo, and all your Fibble Thips. Especially since this can't block our 4-4 friend, Questing Beast. Oh. <sighs> 
That takes so much energy to, to concentrate on. Just like, can we do it? Wow, that was an incredibly loud gulp. I'm sorry. <laughs> As it was happening, I was disgusted by myself. Uh, let's see. Witching Well, Lava Coil. Yeah, all this seems good. This, this hand seems pretty sweet. This hand seems even sweeter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and opt. Sure. Cinder vines, right. I forgot about that. Lava Coil is very mean. Very mean oppo opponent. Uh, I was really hoping to draw a land this turn so that I could Euro. All right, we're gonna take one so we can scry into a land, hopefully. It's so weird, because this is not my second time seeing a Cinder Vines played against me, and it's like, not even something I would consider I needed. Wow! They are just all out hating us, huh? Look at this. So hateful opponent. I'm guessing people are still using it as Nexus, I guess. I don't know. Um I guess I I mean like it would still be a six six in play, so I just need a red source, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna look for... Like, if I can kill this with Storm's Wrath, then I don't really care. All right, not a red source in there. Oh, that's cute. I still... Mm. Yeah, sure. I already did. If we don't draw a red source, we get to just kill this, but... Take two off of it, which is annoying. <sighs> Red land off the top, right? Yep, there it is. Please give me a red land. 
please give me a red land. They should just all attack, honestly. All right, well, my out is a red land, so I'm just going to do this. All right, well, I'm putting a 6-6 six, six into play. It draws me a card, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. It doesn't gain me three life because Tibbers is out, but it does it does put an imposing body in play. Gosh. Are you serious? Robber the Rich is about to hit a red land, I bet. Oh my gosh. Are we dead? Wait, two, four, five, six, seven? No, we're not dead. Okay. Oh! We can't cast Storm's Wrath now because of these stupid Cinder Vines. All right, well, if they're bringing in Cinder Vines, then we're bringing in Return to Nature all of a sudden. I just... <laughs> if we had drawn... If we had just drawn our red source like two turns earlier, we would have been fine. But no. But no. All right. We get to be on the play, which is good. It's always a good start. We have our hate card, our our anti hate cards. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're about to control this board. Wow, their hand is bad. Um, th this is good for me. Don't do anything for a bit. Perfect. Like, I get to draw two cards at the end of their turn. I have a lava coil for a single threat. Yeah, sure. They will also do nothing, right? Put this into play. We just milled over two of our return to natures. <laughs> it's okay. We go off with Underworld Breach, so. Yep, she's dead. Clothis. I don't think we can beat that card. I don't... I honestly don't think we can beat that. Oh, no. That's, um... Troublesome. Okay, so... Some choices that this deck made. Notably, there is a one-mana instant. Wow. Wow. That's three of our excavators? Two of our excavators, okay. There is a one mana uh, instant that puts an enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library. And if we had cho chosen to play that instead of uh, Return to Nature, we could deal with this. Yeah, Mystic Repeal. I mean, like... I have to bottom this, right? It's our last copy, but it doesn't kill this. 
I guess I'm looking for Clothis now. Cloth Clothis. Clothis. Clothis now. Yeah, and they're just gonna slowly kill us by just like exiling our graveyard. And we lost that stupid game to Grixis. <sighs> Opponent patiently just like playing out single threats. Getting in a hit here and there, but not actually like committing to the board. Cause because the stupid clothis is gonna kill us anyway. Uh half of our things are gone. Yeah, we cast the sweepers and so oh okay, there's two two. Uh, I don't know, man. I think you will find my nose helpful. Uh So, all right. Darn it. They saw the line. Oh, we're dead to a stiff breeze. I should have played Emery. Yeah, okay. I messed up. I should have played a blocker. I don't think that matters because that's one, two, three anyway. Yeah, we were dead. Neat. Cool deck. So, remember uh, that one time I said that this is the coolest deck in the format, but Gruel Aggro is the best deck? <laughs> there you go. That's why. That's why I say that. They get to play the best creatures, they attack your face down, and they have some of the best disruption. It is easily the best deck, but hey, we got a thousand gold and we didn't pay a thousand gold to get in, so winner, winner, question mark. Thundering Spine back. I remember this card. It's so expensive and bad. I mean, it was great in draft, right? Like you just like start pumping out three threes every turn. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's open a pack. Ooh. I guess I didn't have all of these. Look at that. Look at that. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't open gems. <laughs> all right. Uh, thoughts after that. Return to nature. Hmm. I'm curious if Mystical Dispute is too much disruption when we have Destiny Spinner, or if Destiny Spinner is too much when we have Mystical Dispute, so that we can fit some copies of Mystic Repeal in here. Because it's narrow, but it does save us from more things than Return to Nature does, and it's cheaper. I, you could almost even just switch Return to Nature to Mystic Repeal because the artifacts that hose us aren't really played as much, like Raftiger's Cage and things like that. There are so many more enchantments that are going to kill us. So that's just a thought. Deck is fine. It's good. Like, Don't take a bad run against Grixis and then running into our worst matchup as like a sign the deck is, 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 isn't good. This deck is busted. Underworld Breach is insane. Mox Amber should be banned, etc. Spinner doesn't really help us go off anyways. It doesn't stop Breach or Mox from being countered. Yeah, well, it does stop Breach from being countered. Because it says uh, enchantment spells you control can't be countered. But they can counter Mox still, for sure. Like, it's perfect except for the Mox Amber part. So I could see, like, putting some amount, like... Doing... This, I don't hate. Because gods are annoying. 